Tommy, Mia and Jake lived on Sunnyside Up Street. It was a street where houses wore smiles and gardens bloomed with colourful flowers. Every day felt like a page out of a colouring book, bright and happy. Tommy loved to zoom around on his scooter, pretending to be a comet. Mia, with her bright eyes and even brighter smile, skipped alongside, humming a happy tune. Jake, the tallest of the three, often trailed behind, collecting shiny pebbles that caught his eye. They were the best of friends, always ready for an adventure. Whether it was building a pillow fort or sharing a bag of gummy bears, they knew how to turn an ordinary day into something special. And today was no different. Let's play superheroes versus villains. Tommy shouted, his voice full of excitement. He loved pretending to be Captain Comet, the fastest superhero ever. I'll be Flutterfly, the strongest superhero. She flapped her arms like wings, pretending to fly. I'll be Rocky Mountain, the superhero who can move mountains. Their imaginations took flight as they assigned themselves superpowers and created evil villains to defeat. The sunny side up street became their playground, a world filled with thrilling adventures and daring rescues. Tommy, as Captain Comet, zoomed around rescuing teddy bears from the clutches of evil dust bunnies. Mia, as Flutterfly, lifted heavy toy boxes with her pretend super strength, freeing trapped toy cars. And Jake, as Rocky Mountain, built towering block fortresses, protecting their superhero headquarters from imaginary invaders. The sun beamed down on Sunnyside Up Street, casting long, playful shadows as the friends continued their game. Tommy, lost in his world of super speed, didn't see the stray roller skate lying on the sidewalk. Wham! He tripped, his scooter rolling away as he landed with a thud. Tears welled up in his eyes as he rubbed his scraped knee. It wasn't a villain that had defeated Captain Comet, but a tiny roller skate. Mia and Jake stopped their play and rushed to Tommy's side. Their superhero roles forgotten, they were just worried friends now. Are you okay, Tommy? Mia asked, her voice full of concern. Jake, ever resourceful, ran to his house and returned with a band-aid and a bottle of water. He carefully cleaned Tommy's scraped knee while Mia offered words of comfort. There, there, Captain Comet. Even superheroes get boo-boos sometimes. Tommy sniffled, his tears drying up as he felt the warmth of his friend's concern. He realized that even though he had fallen, he wasn't alone. His friends were there to pick him up, just like real heroes always did. I guess even Captain Comet has to watch out for sneaky roller skates. His words were followed by a chorus of giggles. The tension broke, replaced by the familiar warmth of their friendship. They helped Tommy to his feet, and soon they were laughing and playing again, the mishap forgotten. Mia even pretended to be Roller Rocket, a mischievous villain who left roller skates in her wake. Tommy, his earlier tears replaced by laughter, chased after her, pretending to capture the mischievous villain with his super speed. As the sun began to set, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, the friends knew it was time to head home. They walked together, their laughter echoing down Sunnyside Up Street. Tommy, his scraped knee feeling much better, knew that even superheroes needed their friends. They made even the scariest villains and the bumpiest falls seem less scary. He was lucky to have Maya and Jake, his very own superhero sidekicks, always by his side. As they reached their homes, they waved goodbye already looking forward to their next adventure on Sunnyside Up Street. It had been a day filled with laughter, friendship and a little bit of superhero magic. And for Tommy, Mia and Jake, that's what made it a super duper day.